Hello guys, this is continuations of keyword driven framework and uh, if you look at the last class I spoke about how you should design the method which will read the data from the excel sheet. Now in this video first I will try to test those methods which I have designed. So to do that uh, as you know that in this class we have one constructor parameterized constructor which will take excel path. So I am making the object of this class excel reader. Okay, the class equal to class reference name new uh, class name and that's how we create an object and when we say system dot get property user dot dir which will give you locations till your project no matter which drive you kept your project c drive d drive you will get the locations then if you look at after this project you will scroll down right uh, this is the project which you have this keyword so let me uh, minimize the other projects here you have in src test java this is your project in the project what you have src test java so system dot get property user dot dir will give you the project then you have slash src slash test slash java which you have it here slash test java inside that you have something called test data folder slash test data and then i'm writing that test suite one dot xlx right so this is the path of your excel sheet now the the method which we have designed on this reference i'm calling the method called get row count if you look at here uh, based on the excel sheet name it will give you the total number of uh, record present in the excel sheet and the second method which i'm calling that get cell data so based on the sheet name and based on the column keyword so here if you look at the column name and row number so third row number give me the data for that both uh, the method I'm writing inside the print ln statement so that you know it will get printed now just to right click run a Java applications you can see that 7 click on link so total number of row count you have a 7 now go to the excel sheet and see that 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 so total how much you have 7 now this get row count go to the logic now see get row count I was doing that plus 1 why because it starts from 0 so when I'm doing that plus 1 then only I'll be getting it here 7 otherwise you'll get 6 okay now it's clear for you that plus 1 right otherwise you'd have got 6 and get cell data row number 3 and keyword column so row number 3 which means this one and the keyword column click on link this is the data click on link so if you look at here you are able to get that click on link so now uh, our excel code is working fine and uh, we are able to get the data whatever data we need for our keyword driven framework next video i will start with the keywords the designing of keywords which we need for our keyword driven framework thank you guys thank you for watching this